Hey guys, it's Neil from the Skullbusters. What I'm going to do today is show you how to unlock the Escalation skin for the M1917. So if you load up an empty server, uh, Russian DLC maps and the map is Albion. Uh, if you're spawning on the Russian side and bring yourself up to the first big hill, you'll see it as you come up when you spawn in. And what you need to do is, first off, is get rid of these boxes. God knows how they didn't blow up on the first time. Um, but yeah, you need to get rid of these boxes, the wooden ones, that is. And once you've done that, you'll notice that there's like uh, these green boxes. You've got two to the right there and you've got seven here and what you need to do is interact once with each box so you'll notice they've got little panels little faces like these and what you need to do is just interact no matter which order you do it just interact once with each one going round they're not all in the same way either, so like I say, just interact once. And on the bottom one, top one. There we go. And make sure you've done them all. Like I say, you just, they are not the same way. Like I say, make sure you do them all correctly once. So this last two, and once you've done that, like I said, it's not not an order. You just do any as you as you as you like. Uh, so once you've done that, bring yourself back down to where you spawned in, and there's a load of houses or a little village, let's say. Uh, you're looking for the one with the blue doors, which is pretty much these ones here. So, like I said, I suggest coming in as support and just level the house. You can throw a grenade. I, I put Olympic charging. It doesn't matter which, which that you do, really. Because there's a switch behind that uh, chest of drawers. So, if you interact with that once this time, and then what you need to do is take yourself back up to the boxes and interact again with each one. Again, don't matter about the order. You've just got to interact with them all. I know it's a bit repetitive, but it'll be worth it. Again, like I say, make sure you interact with each one. Them two, these five, and the other two on the right-hand side. It's this top one here, and then go round, because there's two on this side. I'm facing this way. Like I say, make sure you interact once. Don't click it more than once because you'd have to redo the whole thing again. Like again. And this last two. And this one. That's that. So, once they're done, again, back down to the house. Now, again, this switch, you need to do it four times. So, to, I'd say, take a, press it, give it a break press it again so I have a gap in between each press that's the way I do that one so then once you've done that you come right back up again to the top and you'll hear some Morse code now this Morse code is unique again to yourself so you'll probably only need to record about 30 seconds of it it's only a small Morse code uh, consisting of five letters and it could be anything from A to F in the alphabet uh, so for mine for example was E E F E A but you, this won't be the same for you um, the best thing to do if you're struggling with the Morse code is uh, sign up to the Battlefield Easter Egg community um, their discord app and they have a special page for this escalation skin uh, they'll help you out if you ask nicely um, or any of the other dog tags that you need help with if you sign up to these guys and post your Morse code and, and they'll possibly will help you with your Morse code and decode it for you um, so yeah recommend that highly so once you've got your uh, Morse code decrypted 
the five letters, what you need to do is continue over the map to the lighthouse. And there's six cabins and they are containing some lanterns that you need to destroy. There's no particular order, um, but I'll just quickly show show you uh, what I have done. So you just, that's the first one. Uh, I'll just speed this up so you can see. And that's the second. Like I said, there's no order for these. Uh, but if you just copy what I do, then you can't go wrong. So this one's on the outside. And the last one. Now once you've done that, you need to take yourself over to the lighthouse. Once inside, you'll notice there's uh, six switches from top to bottom. So if you take yourself up to the top, there's a, there's a switch here, which we'll call A. And if you come a little bit further down, and just above the stairs there, we'll call that B. And then as you come down the stairs again, we'll call this switch C. And again, this one is going to be D. Second to last is E, and then we get to the ground, this is F. So here's a quick diagram for you guys. If you need to pause it here just to have a look, you can do so. So what do we do next? This code here, it will be the same for everyone. The blanks is the only thing that you need to figure out, which will be your Morse code from earlier on. So there's my Morse code from earlier on in red, and all you need to do is input uh, all the letters, by using the switches as we labelled before A to F. So let me show you how I done mine to make it nice and easy for you. So let's start with C. Like I say, all the white letters are the same for everyone. It's only the red five letters, which is your unique Morse code. So that the next one there is A. And then back down to E and E again, so that's twice and back up to B, top of the stairs now this bit is your, your unique Morse code don't copy mine, make sure you, you do yours so mine was E, E, F E again and then my last one was all the way to the top, which was A. So back down to the bottom. This will be the again now for the same for everyone. So it's F and E. And it's A twice, and then it's back down to D. This is twice as well. And it's back up to A. Nearly there. And the last one is D. Now once you've done this you've got about just over 30 seconds to get right back to the above A. So go right all the way to the top here. You've got to do this so quick. Get right up all the way and interact with this little thing on there on that light there. Interact with that once. You should get this puff of smoke and the spooky noise once you've got that you know you've done it you've completed it so let's go check that bad boy out load up your gun change the skin and there it is you got any questions don't forget to leave it in the comments section below 
Um, don't forget to give us some thumbs up and subscribe. And we'll see you next time, guys. Take care.